Hello and welcome to the Missing and Tattooed Podcast. This is Season 1, Episode 5. A devoted mother drops off her children in daycare and is never seen again. It's a tragic disappearance of Melanie Metheny. Also, a pregnant woman torn between two men disappears. It's a mysterious case of Bethany Decker. Melanie Metheny. Melanie was a 21-year-old mother of three that vanished July 19, 2006 in Bell, West Virginia. Melanie stopped by 7-Eleven, then dropped her three children off at 8 a.m. at the Country Kids Daycare Facility at the 3000 block of East DuPont Avenue in Bell, West Virginia. She is planning on going to the Garnett Career Center, an adult education program that she was enrolled in, to pick up her transcripts so she could register for classes at West Virginia State University. The last time she was heard from was at 9 a.m. when she called an auto body shop on her cell phone to verify an upcoming appointment. At 9.30, someone, possibly Melanie, called her voicemail from the cell phone. That evening, when she didn't come back to pick up her kids from daycare, she was reported missing. Two days later, Melanie's golden tan 1998 Chevrolet Ventura minivan with a license plate number of US8255 was found abandoned in the area of Wyoming Street and Booring Avenue in Charleston, West Virginia. The area that it was found in was an area that was known for its drug activity. The car had been there since at least 2 p.m. on the day that Melanie disappeared. The doors were locked and the van was intact with CDs inside but had been wiped clean of all fingerprints. The only items missing were Melanie's purse and cell phone. No evidence of where Melanie might be or what happened to her was found at the scene, but there were other things found on the minivan's front seat. A business card was found plus a piece of paper with a phone number and a note about a house for sale. On the afternoon of Melanie's disappearance, a woman in Charleston saw another woman struggling to get out of a red SUV on the west side of Charleston. The woman was yelling, What about my babies? What about my babies? The SUV has never been located and the woman has never been identified, although investigators think the woman might be Melanie. Melanie's case went cold until the fall of 2013. Cindy Crothers admitted to helping her boyfriend, Joy Keith Jeffrey, a known drug dealer, to kidnap and torture another woman, Jeffrey's cousin, in 2012. She told the court that during the incident, Jeffrey said, I'm going to put you in the same hole I put her, Melanie, in. Jeffrey's is considered a person of interest in this case. Melanie is described as a quiet person. She used drugs socially but wasn't known as a heavy drug user. She dreamed of becoming a nurse and was saving up money so that she could rent a house. When Melanie went missing, she was living part-time on Midland Avenue in Bell and part-time with her boyfriend in Campbell Creek, West Virginia. Her family believes that she would not abandon her children and have done everything they can to search for her. For the last few years, they have held an event to raise awareness about missing people and to raise funds for local charities. They have also put a billboard up in hopes that someone will see it that knows what's happened to Melanie. Melanie was 21 years old when she disappeared from Bell, West Virginia on July 19, 2006. She's 5'3", 100 pounds, with blonde hair and brown eyes. She has pierced ears and a surgical scar on her left ankle. If you have any information about Melanie's disappearance, please call the Kanawha County Sheriff's Office at 304-357-0169 or contact CUE Center for Missing Persons, 24-hour tip line at 910-232-1687 and on Facebook there's a help find missing slash Melanie Methan Methany Melanie Methany and the family has also set up a website which is www.melaniemethany.com Bethany and Decker Bethany was 21 years old when she disappeared from Loudoun County, Virginia on January 29, 2011. She was last seen at her apartment in Ashburn on Orchard Grass Terrace. Bethany graduated from Stafford High School with a more than 4.0 GPA. At the time of Bethany's disappearance, she was married to a soldier that was deployed in Afghanistan. They had been married 18 months and had a year-old son that lived with her parents. Bethany was also a senior at George Mason University, majoring in global and economic change. 
She had about three classes left after George Mason's University's spring 2011 semester to graduate. Her family said she was looking forward to completing her degree. Unfortunately, Bethany's marriage wasn't a happy one. Before her husband had even left for his National Guard training in Camp Atterbury, Indiana, she had already started a fling with a man named Ronald Roldan that she met while working at Carava's Italian Grill in Centerville, Virginia. She had been seeing Ronald for about eight months and had been living with him at the Ashburn Apartments for about two months. The month that she disappeared, from, disappeared, her husband had come home on leave from his military duty in Afghanistan. Bethany and her husband Emil took a vacation to Hawaii shortly before her disappearance. They returned to Virginia January 28, 2011. Investigators have released a timeline that placed Bethany in Columbia, Maryland on January 29th with family members that included her grandmother and her husband Emil. Later in the evening on January 29th, Bethany returned to her apartment in Ashburn where her boyfriend, Ronald Rolden, told investigators he saw her. That was the last confirmed sighting of Bethany. On February 4th, her husband flew back to Afghanistan. Bethany didn't come to the airport with him to say goodbye, which the family said would have been uncharacteristic of her. Over the next three weeks, family members didn't report Bethany missing because they felt like she was an adult that had her own life, as well as a college student that traveled out of town for school, so they thought that she might be too busy to have contacted them. However, Bethany's grandparents became concerned after not hearing from her and traveled to her apartment February 19, 2011, where they discovered her car, but Bethany was nowhere to be found. They reported her missing that day. Bethany's bank accounts haven't been touched, her cell phone hasn't been used, or her email account accessed since her disappearance. She hasn't went to work or to class. Her passport and her identification were found in her apartment. Bethany was five months pregnant at the time of her disappearance. Her due date was August 2011. It's uncertain who the father of the baby was. There have been no records found that indicate that she's given birth. Someone posed as Bethany after her disappearance to send messages to her family and friends. Bethany had told her family that her boyfriend Ronald was controlling and abusive. He also has been named a person of interest in her disappearance. Bethany's husband has now come back from Afghanistan and has custody of their son, Bethany Ann Decker. At the time of her disappearance, she was 21 years old, 5 foot tall, 130 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. She also has a small tattoo on her left ankle, and she has pierced ears. If you know anything at all that can help bring Bethany back to her friends and family, please contact London County Crime Solvers at 703 777-1919. For anyone interested in more information on this case, Bethany was featured on Investigation Discovery's TV show, Disappeared. There's a Facebook page dedicated to Finding Bethany. It's www.facebook.com slash findbethanydecker. If you like this podcast, you might consider liking us on Facebook. It's www.facebook.com slash missingandtattooed. We also have a YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com slash user slash missing and tattooed. Thank you so much for listening.